Hey guys, it's the Mangy Mup back at it again. So today, I'm going to actually be bringing up two hybrids. Uh, I'm going to make up the Polykithith or Plikthi, some shit like that. It's a water type, from my understanding. It's not the greatest. I've seen a little bit about this guy, but it's... So here it is. It's the Kalithi or Kalikithan and Trilobite. I probably butchered the first one, just like I butchered the name, but it's a class tank, which means it should be able to, I guess, have like armored or like armor, so it's going to be reduced damage like a Stego would. Description is a semi aquatic arthropod that can jump out of the water to get to high ground. It can walk on land, breathe air, like a trilobite does. This might be one of the weirdest hybrids. Okay, so I don't know about all that because honestly, there are a lot of weird hybrids in this game. But let's just go ahead and cook some bad boys up. And the second one, which is the more important one, is in the omnivore section over here. This is the Ekrut, or Ekrut, some shit like that. Once again, another weird name. It's an Equus Hyndon. So this one is really cool, honestly, because it it is a very useful tame for knockouts. Uh, it has the Equus Kick, which adds Torpor in case you never played or you might have forgotten. But either way, it's a hyper class, which is, I have no clue what these classes actually mean. But it's a horse-like hybrid hyena don type features. It's a ferocious omnivore, can regenerate most of its health by eating carcasses, which aka means we're going to be able to regen health really, hopefully really quickly, uh, like a hyena don. It grows much stronger in packs, also like a hyena don. So it's another pack type, which I might free up a pack and see how good these guys really are. Uh, spicing this hybrid, spicing, or I think it's supposed to say splicing this hybrid with some, with some Equus features and the fastest travel, or you get one of the fastest travel ones, which I don't know about because honestly, the Raptor, or the Nano Grip, I still think it's an aim for, so if you have an aim for him, uh, put it down in the comments below. But this thing is actually... Uh, rather quick at sprinting on the ground without even flying. Grand, like, it flies much faster, but it's a lot like the Microraptor in the sense that it can sprint at a pretty quick rate. And you do have a level, so may as well. Uh, here's the stats too. This is actually, as you can see down here, at the very bottom of the stats, fully imprinted. Uh, I've only put a little bit into the melee, and two into spam, and then one into health. It gets like a decent chunk of health every single time. So that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. Stamina though, kind of sucks. It does run out of stam pretty fast when it uses that bleed attack that I demonstrated in the last video. So now we're going to have to sit here and wait. Oh, actually we got our first one right here. So let's go down to the water area. Let's check this guy out. Let's just stand up real quick. Fly down here. Alright. Honestly, I have fallen in love with Santa Cruz. It has been a huge help. When it comes to okay, so let's see here. What do we? What do we have? Where are you? At? There you are. Yeah. So if you look at this guy, he is like uses a trilobite armor a little bit on the heads. He's got some pretty gnarly teeth down there, and then he looks like a giant slug with fins on it for the most part. It moves pretty slow on land. Make some weird noises. He was fairly decent in the water, so I could use him probably. Can you like harvest rocks or anything? No. Okay. Uh, is there any fish around here? Maybe we could bite something to see the kind of damage it does. No, I don't. I don't see anything. That's the one thing I will say I don't like about Ragnarok is like the water, like doesn't have anything in it. As you can see, there's. There was no Megalodon. Oh, out of stamina. Huh. Okay, so stamina on this guy drains pretty fast. It's only got 300. Uh, what do you even eat? I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to give you some food here. I completely forgot. So it's an aquatic. So maybe. I mean, it's. I would say it's more of an amphibian, I guess, because it lives on both water and land. It doesn't have an oxygen stat, so. Let's give you some meat and see if that's what you want is this what you want yeah you'll eat meat okay sweet so that's our first thing. I'm going to use
use him mainly just to gather fish meat for like the uh, lesser or the common uh, DNA for dinos. Again, that's spoil timer. So let's check out. This oh, there he is, right there on the left. I'm guessing he bounced off the building. I didn't want to do that. I just want to close it out. Yeah. So this guy is actually pretty dope, because I mean, minus like that little glitchiness in its head, like you can see where the, the hyena on skin meets the horse. It's got some weird paws too, because it has paws and hooves. But overall, this is probably going to be like one of my favorite ones due to the simple fact that it's a knockout team, or a, I can knock things out. And that pretty much takes me to the last portion of this video is I'm going to have to tame up some turtles because now I'm drawing a blank on it. I have to go back real quick. There is a oh you're following me i did not want you to do that come on just follow me over here real quick okay so Africa is really slow in the water come on come over here all right on follow you stay there i don't need you all over this oh Okay, so he just launched off my mouse shot. Now, this is the reason why I want to uh, Trying to follow me in here. You're not allowed in the lab, sorry. Can't do that. Don't complain to me. Alright, uh, so herbivore. This is the reason why. It's because I want to get, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce the name on this one, but it's just a turtle slug combination. And it's gonna be extremely useful when I get a couple of these because it gives me plenty of organic polymer and plenty of cementing paste, which is extremely useful in the game because I can use organic polymer to replace actual polymer. And I th think there are some I, yeah, like, so these all require organic polymer. So, even if I wanted to use them, I need to be able to produce some of them. I don't know about the DNA. Let's see. Yeah, even, like, excellent DNA requires organic polymer. I think this special one, yeah, organic polymer. So, it's going to be extremely useful that I get a couple of these slug-turtle combinations and uh, have them start farming up all that organic polymer. But so I'm going to go out and look for a couple of these turtles real quick. And then once when I find a couple, I'll bring them back and I'll show you the, well, hopefully demonstrate how good these things are at knocking tames out. But I honestly don't know because this is the first time I ever used it. So I'll be back in a minute. All right. So it's been a few minutes. I kind of went up the beach a little ways. Uh, it's starting to get dark out. So the, ca <laughs> the video quality might not be that great, but I have found me a level one or not five, but a level 45 Carabina, whatever turtle. Yeah, these guys. And uh, I'm pretty much gonna knock out the male so I can find the female down the road. And as you can see, it, it does knock them out rather quickly. Uh, let me just get some berries too, I guess, because I didn't bring berries with me. It's, I'm never actually prepared for these things. So let's just throw all this in here. I don't really care about taming effectiveness or levels because, as you can see, whenever we take these guys up, they uh, they only get one level anyway. So I'm going to let this guy sit here and tame. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll show you guys a couple of the attacks. So as you see, that was the most basic like kick attack of the Equus. But it does have a bite like a hyena, hyena don. So this would be like your basic attack. And then on top of that too, you have this like roar, which allows you to do like a courage roar, I guess, for the pack. But it's weird, because, like my numbers actually got Like I'm only doing 54 damage now. Uh, and then let's see, I think it's yeah. So I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just like an emote type thing. And then you got the unconscious one. 
As you can see right there, that was an extra almost 25 or whatever damage tacked on or 20 damage tacked on. So I don't think I'll do that courage roar type thing on tab unless uh unless I start running these guys in a pack. How are we looking over here anyways? But that will be one thing I will say is my stamina just completely disappears using that uh Well, I'll bring you guys back once when I find a couple more, and then, uh, yeah, just start breeding them up, I guess. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so it's been about, like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so to tame up two of these bad boys, so, uh, we're back at the base, and I'm just going with these, uh, yeah, so yes, this one, I was not expecting to get such a high level, I just happened to come across one, I really didn't care, because, well, like I said, they're, they're gonna come out at level one, oh. I got that on the wrong one. Oh, uh, where's the dino? There you go. Mating, mating. So now these guys are going to start producing some eggs so I can start getting those uh nice little slug turtle weird hybrids, I guess, that produce a crap ton of cementing paste and organic polymer for me. But basically that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's really too much else I can show off about the slugfish or the hyena horse is what I'm going the hyena horse is what I'm going to call it. Uh, yeah, so if you like this video or find it a little bit interesting, uh, learn something new about, I guess, this hyena horse hybrid. Uh, drop a name down there. I also need to name this useless fish down there. Yeah, this guy right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, you. I might just call you like Plo or Plow or Poe or maybe even Pointless. But either way, just uh, like the video, leave a comment. It'll help me out a lot. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, but this is the Mangy Mutt. I hope you have a wonderful day. Tell someone that you love them. And I am out.